Hey YouTube, welcome back. This is Ricky with Shoe Monster Tech, and today we are looking at American Blade Works knife. Yes, this is the Model One Version Four, indeed. Um, this one was actually passed down to me by Tier One Gear and EDC Reviews. So thanks, man. I appreciate it. You guys go check out his YouTube channel. Uh, I've got his uh, link down in the descriptions. Cool. All right. Well, before we get into the nitty gritties and all the goodies. Um, you guys go ahead and check out my Instagram page. Here you go at Shoe Monster Tech. And if you guys want to help support the channel, um, you can do so by either subscribing or you can um, <clears throat> purchase one of these bad boys. I'll leave my email down in the descriptions. Yes, indeed. Cool, cool. Well, let's get into it, right? We'll start off with the specs on this. Now, the blade length on this is uh, 3.25 inches. The blade thickness is 0.185 inches. The uh, <clears throat> handle material is the S35VN. Yes, you can see that there. And the handle thickness on this is 0 0.52, I'm sorry, 0 0.562 inches. The handle length is 4.62 inches. And this has got that beautiful marble red carbon fiber just looks gorgeous it looks really good in person now the weight on this is 3.425 ounces so yeah it's uh um it's not a lightweight but it's light for the size yeah really and truly um now that's probably probably because we got titanium backspacer here which you got your jimping very nice and uh we have um, titanium liners as well it helps keep that weight down and this is a manual flipper and it is a right hand user indeed sorry the knife does carry a tip up so that's that's very nice right okay well let's do some size comparisons and first of all geez i don't have any of my knives out let's compare the uh Civivi badlands uh vegabond so yeah it's it's uh definitely larger in length than uh the badlands by uh Civivi and um let's uh compare it to the 940 osborne so yeah actually that's pretty that's pretty damn close um almost right on so that's that's cool right um <clears throat> let's go by the uh, pair of three a lot of people have the pair of three uh, let's see yes indeed it is larger than your uh pair of three and let's uh compare it to the rat two um, yep, larger than the Rat 2, so I'm going to safely assume it's going to be larger than the uh, Mini Grip, right? Let's put that in there. Okay, yeah, so <clears throat> that's good size comparisons. Um, let me find my Everyday Carry Sharpie. Here it is right here. And so you guys can get a good idea of um, the size of this knife. And uh, let's close it up and see how far down it sits in the pocket. There you go. Um, all right, so let's get into pros and cons. First of all, uh, American Blade Works, I'll leave the links down in the descriptions. I believe their prices, actually this version four as of right now is sold out. They mostly have a version five now. So yeah, I'm a little bit behind on this company here. This is fairly new um, to me. So let's get into the cons on this guy here. And <clears throat> honestly guys, I really couldn't find uh, too many cons on this. This is a really sweet knife. This one surprised the hell out of me. Um, it's like it came out of nowhere because I didn't really know th <laughs> these guys existed. So, um, but the only really thing I could find, um, and it's, it's really nitpicky, but is the pocket clip. Um, it's not a deep carry, which is fine. Um, that's not the con there. It's just um, my pants pockets, uh, some of my thicker jeans, the, it doesn't, go all the way up and I think what it is is just not enough space in that pocket clip um, but that's really it um, everything else maybe a little bit more jimping on the top here let's get into the pros now um, yeah there's no jimping on the top but the purchase on this knife is amazing the, the ergos it just feels really comfortable in hand um, very very impressed so that's a huge pro um, but we do have jimping right here on the back end here so and it goes all the way down to the very back and a little bit in the bottom there so yeah totally um <clears throat> awesome that's a huge pro and you do have jimping on your uh, liner lock which i think i forgot to uh um 
let you guys know what kind of lock it was in the in the uh, specs uh, section there. But yeah, so the action is the action is definitely another pro. Very good action, very smooth. Now this does have the cage ceramic ball bearings, so um, that's gonna have to tell you. Yeah, it's gonna be a smooth action knife. Um, comes very centered, so that's another pro. Look at that. And um, I do like the access to the liner lock. It's very easy to get to, and it adds that jimping there. So yeah, not bad, huh? Not bad at all. Um, the lightweight on this, or the weight on this, is another pro. It is, yeah, it's like almost three and a half ounces, but you know, like I said, for the size of the knife, um, yeah, awesome. Uh, S35 uh, VN steel, that's another pro, so it's gonna hold its edge uh, for quite a while um, before you gotta touch it up, either by stropping or by, uh, you know, sharpening it. <clears throat> I try to strop uh, before I sh actually put it to a sharpener, help uh, save that blade a little bit, right? Yeah. Okay, um, so yeah, the flipper itself, it doesn't seem to be any jimping on it. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm going to try to get you focused there. Um, but it is rounded off, and it's very, yeah, there's nothing to it. It's, it's great. Uh, flipper action is awesome. It doesn't stick out too much. Um, so I don't really have any issues uh, with it in my pocket. It's not, you know, it's not bothering me. So that's good, right? Another pro. Another big pro on this is the looks. I love the looks, simple, simple, simple. And you guys know I love my simple knives. And the drop point on this blade is just sweet. It looks good. The coating they got on this, um, I just like it. I like the looks of this knife. Everything matches on it. Um, and it and it makes it look simple. You know, it's just, it's just a good looking knife, guys. Um, do I think it's worth the, you know, most, looks like most of his knives uh, sell for about 200 and I see a version five, um, it's sold out right now, but it's it's looking like $235, and it's a carbon fiber. It's all black. Um, do I think it's worth that? Now, I haven't held a version 5, um, but it looks from the picture, it looks pretty much the same. Again, I'll leave the links down in the descriptions. You guys can uh, check it out for yourselves, but um, yeah, it looks pretty close to the same. I'm not sure what they what he changed on it. On the knife itself, maybe the blade looks a little bit different, but as far as um, how everything matches and um, the simplicity of it, it just looks great. So, do I think it's worth $235? Hell yeah. Um, but anyways, that's that. That's American Blade Works. Um, what do you guys think about this knife? Do you like uh, how simple it is? Do you guys like simple knives or do you guys like uh, more uh, crazier design knives? Let me know down in the comments. That'd be, uh, that'd be cool to know. All right, guys. Well, that's it. Uh, if you guys like what you see, subscribe to my channel. For you guys that have subscribed, thank you guys so much. And uh, punch on that like button, guys. Um, yes, indeed. And, yeah, I appreciate it. That's it for today. You guys have a good day. Bye.